Beleza. So it's Friday, and we're here in the Explorer Lounge. Just got done with free practice one, and in between free practice two, we've got Amanda practicing on force. <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna relate to our actual time on the uh, course, but hey, um, getting ready for free practice two, one way or another. <laughs> we are meeting Patrice Evra uh, to race some RC cars. Hi man, okay. Andreas Becker, nice to meet you. Doing? How are you doing? I'm good if you let me win. <laughs> Let's do this. So you start here, yeah, yeah. and I start here. Oh, okay. Over there, yeah, yeah. Ready, set, go. Ah! <laughs> My first lap was amazing. No! no! <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh! Oh my god. So I'm sorry, you know. I lose. It's much better than me. It was even waiting for me. So no, thank you. I have a wonderful time. That's the start. All the cars. That's turn one. And uh, we're just checking who takes which line. We're doing proper rally cross style here. It's more important. Yeah, two kilometers is longer, but on the right spot. You need to come a little bit, one meter like right yeah. said. Yeah. Then in. outside, yeah. in, out, in, in, out. Yeah. And here keep. Yeah. Keep. Just out, keep. out, out, out. And, and here is flat. And here is flat, flat yeah. out. As no also risk. You take no no risk. risk at all. It's 6.30 a.m. Early morning, first race day, super pumped. Now we're gonna go out and push, finally do some racing where I feel at home. So uh, it's gonna be a good day. Good morning, first race day of season three is here. It's a very busy paddock. It's Saturday morning and the first race of Extreme E 2023. Let's go. Set. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, and through the camera one. We are racing for the planet and racing with a purpose. Season three of Extreme E is here. Hammer down now, release the handbrake and release all that horsepower down towards turn one. Draw oh, into the water. Oh my God, they went for a morning dip. Everything okay? Yes, this is dust. That is unbelievable. I don't think we've ever seen a move like that in Extreme E. In fact, in any racing Which championship we definitely haven't. before. <laughs> Katie Mullins making a pass on Christine GZ. Door to door with a little bit of contact. Oh, put the grass oh, and she rolls! Oh. Mullins! Absolute carnage. There's Alatia on his side. Unbelievable. On the inside line, it's a great start for RJ Anderson. Backs the car in, runs Matias extra out right, extra takes that long line in the background. Watch out here for Johan Christophson. The RXR machine, he's passed three cars already. Gonna try and take the McConnell line around the outside. RXR outside, inside line for Pelonche. Rear end of Freddie McClark in some super high. It is RXR who leads. So you need really great money so you can get on the bumper again. Go, go. Good job, money, good job. P2. Oh, we're getting a race control decision on RXR, what about? 136 second penalty oh, for car disaster. six, slow zone speeding. Disaster. Gone on the gas too early, and that's gonna hand the win then to Molly Taylor and Kevin Hansen for Veloce. Woo, winners Woo of day one here, or race one of the season. What a great way to start the year. <laughs> with our new team and... Uh, Start as you mean to go on, right? Exactly. <laughs> so we got a new race tomorrow. Let's try to do the same. Good morning, race day number two here at the Desert X Prix. Another stunning day in Saudi, in Neom. And we've got racing action out there, but we've got to give a huge shout out to the mechanics who have spent the night working so hard to get these cars back out on course. Now, one of the teams who had an enormous job to do yesterday was at Cupra after the roll for NASA. 
reality has gone over the front of the McLaren. Unbelievable. Once again, that camel grass just getting in the way, causing issues. But good to see that wow. NASA is okay. Thankfully, you're doing okay. I've heard your mechanics have had about one hour sleep. Talk to me about this rebuild. Yeah, it was a long day, you know, for all the mechanics and the teams and uh, finish around four o'clock in the morning. The guys did a super good job. It was a huge walk to change everything. We had just time to go to the hotel, take a shower and come back here at, uh, at seven o'clock. So uh, that was a big challenge. We forget what happened yesterday and today is a new day and we try to do our best. So Nasser Alatia, fourth from the left on your pitch, comes across, a little bit of contact with Lias Sands. Alatia goes up the inside into the door, runs the RXR wide. Contact, was it too much? I don't think it was. Alatia and Anderson, though, coming up towards the finish line. This is a brilliant result for Ant Cooper. Great tactics from them, and they're going to book themselves a spot in the final. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Very well done. Good job, good job, brother. is building. This is the moment, our second race of the season. Well, the action on the side machine of extra looked like it had two stabs at the throttle, but on the left-hand side of your screen, plenty of room for Anderson. She's not going to make it to turn one first. Chris Thompson making the same move as yesterday. Now we look for the Anoa Hyperdrive. Chris Thompson goes first, but Ekstrom used it already, has got a brilliant exit. No one's getting back to Ekstrom. Yesterday they were P2, but today they're going to go one better. Maya Sands is going to come down and jump over the finish line. Axiona Sainz win their first ever Extreme race here at Neom in Saudi Arabia. Vamos, Laya, que hemos ganado la carrera! Hello, man. Yo, ¿qué pasa? They won. Look at her. Yoo-hoo!